So I'm sure that some of you may have noticed that when you multiply by a power of 10, uh, you, you just add a zero or, or uh, the corresponding amount of zeros. So for example, 10 to the power of 1 is 10. Uh, 10 to the second power or squared is uh, 10 times 10, which is 100. Uh, 10 uh, to the third power is simply 1,000. And, uh, well, the thing is that we're going to use uh, this idea to actually uh, understand uh, what's going to be scientific notation uh, and how is it going to be useful for us. First of all, let's, uh, let's start with some, something small. So, for example, if I have uh, 2.5, 2.5 times 10, I know that uh, if it had been a whole number, I would have added a zero. But then uh, uh, what, what you're doing essentially uh, here is that you're moving the point uh, here. So let's say this decimal point, I'm going to move it once to the right when I multiply by 10. So essentially my result here is 25. Now let's say that I, I do the same with 2.5 again, but uh, with a, a greater power uh, of, of 10, so perhaps 100, which is 10 to the second power. 10 to the second power. Now, since we have two zeros here, uh, when you multiply by 10 to the second power, you're going to take that decimal point there, uh, and uh, you end up moving it uh, twice because you have two zeros here so uh, you end up getting 250 so uh, here you start noticing something uh, really uh, interesting and what's uh, that's basically what the trick that we're gonna start using in scientific notation uh, when you multiply by a power of 10 uh, you just move the decimal point the desired amount of times uh, uh, based on the on the number of the exponents. So, for example, if we would multiply by uh, uh, two point five uh, by ten to a third power, then we just we would just move this decimal point three times to the right. So this would be uh, let's say that this would be two point five here. I would move it one two three. And then I would just uh, add the two zeros re remaining here. So uh, that would be the, the answer of that multiplication. And what's so useful about this is that every time that I multiply by a power of 10, um, if, uh, if my exponent is positive, then I'm going to move that, that decimal point to the right. Uh, and uh, when we finally get to negative exponents, so it's, uh, I'm just going to use this example, uh, to the same 2.5, but this time I'm going to use uh, this power, negative 1. And, uh, well, if if using a positive exponent means that I move to the right, then uh, what do you think it's going to be when, when I use a negative exponent? And uh, I'm pretty sure that you may, may have uh, an answer already. Uh, it mo it's moving the decimal point towards the left. And essentially what's happening here, uh, well, let me do it first and then I'll explain what's happening here. So you have that decimal point here, and I would move it to the left. So my answer would be uh, point 0.25. And uh, essentially what's happening here, uh, I don't want you to, to just assume that, that that's going to be true. If you're multiplying 2.5, by uh, 10 to a negative first power. Remember that having that 10 to a negative first power is having the same as 1 over 10 to the first power or simply 1 over 10. Now this would mean that I would uh, have here um, let me this a bit down uh, 2.5 over 10. Keep in mind that this is over 1 so you can just multiply those fractions and uh, when you divide by a power of 10, or really alike to, to when you multiply, when you divide, you just move that decimal point towards the left. So that explains why we end up with 0 0.25. And this is going to be really useful for us, because as we move on to scientific notation, we're going to be using 
power, powers of 10, but with positive and negative, negative exponents. And essentially what we're going to be doing is moving that decimal point. So let's say that I have, a, again, a, I'm going to be creative this time, and I'm going to use the number 2.5. And then um, I'm gonna uh, use the 10 to the negative uh, fourth power here. So uh, uh, you might already guess what, what you're supposed to do here. You write uh, 2.5 and then you make use of that decimal point. So if the exponent is negative four, I'm gonna move that decimal point one, two, three, and four times. So uh, I would fill that up with those amount of zeros that number is not looking good for me, uh, right? It's probably here. So, uh, 0 0.0025 here. Yeah. And let me erase this that it doesn't look like that, that much element. And uh, that would be, uh, that would be your answer. So, uh, uh, perhaps this might be useful as we step on to, to as we move on to uh, scientific notation, which is uh, basically using powers of 10 to represent really, really huge uh, numbers or really small numbers, and it, it comes quite handy for us.